Hey guys, it's Mr. Hughes here with the clamp assembly to show you how to create an assembly drawing for the clamp assembly. Next week we're going to be focusing on drawings, uh, a little bit more with part drawings and things of that nature. Today we're going to look at assembly drawings. One thing that may happen, and that as we imported those parts, I noticed last night, you uh, may have, you know, your parts, every one of your parts here in the browser probably says part one. In order to fix that, we can edit parts right inside of the assembly. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to right click on a part. This is the grip part. When you do this, you want to say edit in context. When you click on that, It'll load the workspace. Now it's going to show you the assembly, but the only thing that's in there will be the part. So down here in your browser, you can right click on this and say rename. I rename this to grip. And I'm going to, just for the sake of changing this, I'm going to make these in all caps just to show you the effect. Grip. And once you have that renamed, you have to create a version and go to assembly. So this will create a new version of that part and take you back to the assembly. You'll see that update there in the browser, and I'm just going to continue to go along, do the same kind of thing. It's the exact same process. You can edit the part in context, rename, and then create a version and go to assembly. I'm going to repeat that same process as I go along and just continue there. So the part names that you guys are seeing here are the ones you guys should have when you're working through this. You'll get little updates as you go along to see that those items have been renamed. And that way that they're all good to go. The reason why we're having to rename these or rather so take a look at, you know, making sure these don't, not all say part one, we're going to be creating a, a bill of material. And with that bill of material or a parts list, the names will all show, all show up as part one unless we change them right now. So that's the purpose of, you know, kind of why we're doing this right now. And you can see here, it looks like I've got all of them but the base left. And it doesn't take a lot of time. But this is the way that uh, Onshape kind of handles renaming parts since we imported them. That's why we're kind of looking at this, doing this particular case. All right, last part's updated, so I should see all of these parts have these names in there. And you should be able to see the same thing as you practice the same steps. I'm going to go ahead and end this video out, so then that way we can focus more on creating the bill of material or the parts list and the exploded view next and look at putting this into a drawing.